there. I found these paints the other day um, at a local craft shop, so I want to give them a try. These are pretty cool looking. They're color shift. Color shift, folk art acrylic paints. You can see the shift there. These are actually provided by a company called Plaid. So they're plaidonline.com. Uh, these here are, let me just review this, premium metallic acrylic paint for decorative crafts and home decor with a gloss finish. Uh, this one we'll start with is Green Flash. And what I've actually done to prep for this, <clears throat> right now I don't know about you, but I'm into painting rocks. Um, oops, I hit my camera. Uh, so what I thought I'd do is just try and, and try out a few different um, primed pieces. So I did prime some in white, I primed some rocks in black, and then these ones, as you can see, are totally unprimed. Uh, don't know where you get your rocks from, but I get mine locally at a river nearby. So sometimes we get rocks that are light or some are dark. I try to pick some rocks here that are sort of a neutral color um, because I'm already going to do a demonstration on the white and the black. So anyway, let's just jump right into it. I've already given these a good shake, but yeah, they do require a shake. They're quite thick and I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to put them in a paint tray. I'm just going to put it right on here. I've just got a cheap brush from the dollar store, nothing fancy. Anything shiny right now, I'm loving. So I have worked with some of their other paints before and the one thing I really do like about these paints is how thick they are. You know, depending on what you want to use them for, you can thin them. It's better to have a paint, in my opinion, it's better to have a paint that's thicker because if you do want to thin it out, you can do that yourself. Sorry, I keep hitting my camera with my brush. So there's what it looks like on a neutral, <clears throat> unprimed, neutral color rock. I'm going to leave that one there. And we'll put some on this white one. See how it turns out. You don't need much. <clears throat> As you can see, there's a lot still left on my brush from the first rock. It says to let dry for two hours between coats. That's what the instructions say. Um, I find that these paints actually dry pretty quick. So, you know, dry to the touch is probably when I would put on a second coat, but that's just me. Okay, and here's how it turned out on a white primed rock. <clears throat> I'm going to just do the small one because I've probably got lots of paint on here still left. Oh, I like the way that it comes out on the black. I see a little bit more of the color shift. I do think it would probably take a second coat for sure. But I do like the rich, the sort of rich of the uh, black underneath. Yeah, it gives the top coat a bit of a richer color. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, I would definitely do second coats on these. <clears throat> so these are being acrylic can pretty much go on any surface other, I mean, you can put it on glass and stuff too. Um, I wouldn't, let's see if it has any 
particular. It says non-toxic, but I, and it says indoor-outdoor use. Use on all porous surfaces, so that's why I said maybe not glass or tile. Wait a minute. I didn't. Use on on, yeah, sorry. Use on all porous surfaces. Yeah, I knew what I was thinking. <clears throat> porous, you know, having a little bit of give to it. So non-porous being glass or tile where the paint doesn't really have anything to adhere to. There are other paints out there. I believe by this company as well. Pardon me, I have to have a sip of tea. Um, that you can get that are actually made for non-porous. Okay, so there's that one. Let's move on to the next color. I'll move this one back though so you can still see it. Even though I'm getting paint all over my fingers. <clears throat> Just make sure my brush is really clean. All right, this one. Color shift again by uh, Full Cart, created by um, Plaid. This one is a color shift Aqua Flash. Aqua. All right. Give it a good shake. Just a little dab on there. Such a pretty color. Okay, so this I can see <clears throat> definitely a color shift. It's blue with a shift to a almost like a purpley blue hue. Or, well, it's starting blue, like a turquoise to a this one. If I was gonna paint, um, carry on painting this rock, I would definitely need two or three coats. You can see that okay. Ooh. Try on the white. I even see like green in there. Well, now that it's on the white, got some green tone, purple, blue. <clears throat> not wanting to cover the white is good here. My primer was just a basic uh, inexpensive white acrylic paint. Okay, that was... This one's definitely going to need another coat or two. See how long this video goes for. Maybe I can get another coat on these if they're dry to the touch. Oh yeah, nice, look at that. It's really iridescent, right? What are you guys painting these days? Yeah, like I said, I'm in this rock painting phase. Loving all the little bug rocks out there that I'm seeing people paint. This one's really showing off the texture of the rock here. You know, in a color shift, that would actually be quite nice because that texture provides the shift for you. All right. Quite a difference between the white and the black rock. All right. Okay. We'll move
move into this one here. I'm just going to shift the rocks back. And line these ones up. There, I'll put that there, that one there. Okay, next we've got, again, this is Color Shift, Folk Art by Plaid. This one is Purple Flash. Give it a shake. Make sure my brush is clean. Have a sip of tea. jump right in here. So on an unprimed neutral color rock, I have this magical space out place out at the river that I go to that has some really nice rocks for painting that are like pure black and pure white. So I don't have to prime them when I find those ones, but the river is high right now. <clears throat> where I live, so can't really get out there. That's nice coverage. Really nice. And on the white... coats on this one. You can see that shift in there a bit. So I got like purpley blue iridescent shift and then on the black so tell me uh, in the comments do you prime your rocks first or do you just go right for it most of the time I, I probably honestly I just jump right in and if I have to do extra coats I'll do extra coats but that's because I can be a bit of a lazy artist I like instant gratification, which is probably why I like painting so much, because you see such a instant change. But yeah, tell me, do you prime? What do you prime with? Um, look at that. That's nice. Very cool. There. Okay, so those are the three colors we've got, and let's just see if they're dry to the touch, because maybe we can see what happens if we get a second coat on these. Looks pretty dry to the touch. It's only been, hasn't even been 10 minutes. Or maybe it has been 10 minutes. Ah, time flies when you're having fun. When you're arting, that's what I say. All right. Um, if you comment on my video, if you're a subscriber and you comment, um, any product that is sent my way, I usually do like a, I'll do a draw because I don't need that many much paint. This covers, I got a lot of paints, let's just say. I don't need all that paint, so I'll do a little draw and I'll give the product away. Okay, let's 
give this another coat, see if that. So again, this is the green, green flash. We'll just give these a, a quick second coat. Like I said, it mentioned letting it dry for two hours between coats. So I'm just sort of pushing the envelope here and come on out. This, pit, this paint is thick. There we are. Very thick. Goes a long way. Oh yeah, I've been playing around with some Mandela painting as well, like the dots. I find it so... Um, meditative well all my art is anytime i'm art doing artwork it's meditative because you really can't do much else which is why it's tough for me to talk and paint at the same time here that's nice yeah that's on the white primed um see what was i saying i can't even remember um oh yeah mandela painting i love it but it's tough i find it really tough I find it meditative, but I want my dots to be perfect. Yeah, not easy to do. I think there's techniques out there. I've been following a couple of other artists out there and checking out their technique. Okay, well, so, you know, I'm really finding, I'm feeling like the iridescent feature in this paint is a little more prominent when you paint it onto the black. See, this wasn't quite dry, this one, so. You know, wait, wait longer than the 10 minutes I waited. And I've got paint all over my hands here. Yeah, what else is everybody else painting? What are you painting out here? Last weekend I spent, oh, six hours with them. Um, my stepkids, we were painting, and friends. I had friends come over. We spent six hours in an afternoon painting some little bird houses that we found at the dollar store. Fun, right? It was rainy, it was yucky outside. I didn't know we could spend that much time painting bird houses, but we had a heck of a time. It was fun. As you and my stepkids come over, I have three stepdaughters, they're amazing. Um, we usually, if it's, you know, crummy outside, it's arts and crafts day. I love it. All right. This one, what was it? Aqua flash. This one's aqua. Let's see if we can get a quick second coat on these. Hey, if you're still watching this video and you're coming through onto the second coat with me, thanks for hanging out for so long. I didn't realize it was going to be this long of a video. Second coat. Yeah, I would definitely wait longer. The recommended time. That one's not, totally not dry. Not dry. Ah, but you know what? doesn't matter because it's art. Let's just see what happens. Are you a messy artist like I am? I get paint everywhere. Over my hands. It's looking nice. Okay, come on now, let's get through these quicker. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> it dried a quite a bit darker on this black one. Loving the texture on this rock. All right. 
you know, if these were totally dry, the second coat, I think I really feel would be sufficient. Like I'm really rushing through for the sake of the video here because nobody wants to hang out and watch a three hour YouTube video that I know of. Maybe you do. All right. Last one. We'll do this purple flash. That purple that's already on there, not dry. <laughs> not dry yet. But anyway, for the sake of this, for timing, let's just see what happens. Come on out. There we go. So I would say these applications, depending on uh, what your finished product, what you're looking for here, you've got you've got some options. Are you gonna pre? Are you gonna prime your rocks? Maybe you want the lighter base with the white. You know, when I was painting this one from the first coat, I was sort of thinking, oh, you know what? It kind of looked like a June bug. So maybe you want that. Maybe you want some texture coming through. I was painting a bug rock last week and yeah, it did the same thing. So it looked like a, or a dung beetle. I don't know, but anyway, I liked it. So I kept it. I worked with it. This is totally not dry, but hey, you know what? When you're doing this and you're doing a second coat, you're gonna you're gonna wait a little longer, right? Because rules aren't for breaking, are they? Huh, maybe they are. Who knows? Okay. Very nice. Really hoping that you can see how iridescent. The videos are so tough to see iridescence. Very nice. I'm liking it. All right. Well, what do you think? Let me know again in the comments below what you think of these three paints. And if you're a subscriber or and, uh, and you've commented, um, you'll go into a draw for these products. All right. Let me know what you think. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me maybe have a favorite. Tell me what your favorite one is below. All right. Have a good one. Keep arting.